welcome to my channel. Well, I was mainly thinking about flippers on this, but I started, I added uh, slip joints too because uh, the theme on this one is what's the right size of a knife for everyday carry or EDC? Um, it depends on, of course, you the individual, you know, your physical makeup, how big are your hands, uh, how big are your pockets, uh, what you can carry. Now for me, for the longest time, this has been about the perfect size, like a three inch blade, it's compact and everything. Uh, three inches is about like the minimum I like to have on a, on a pocket knife. I can go smaller than that if I have to, but I like having at least a three inch blade. Now lately, I've been carrying this one a little bit more. This is the Civivi Brazen. It's in a button lock. Now this one's kind of strange because they make it in a button lock, they make it in a liner lock, they make it in D2, this one's in 14C28. Uh, they make it in a bunch of different steels, but the main thing is the blade is about three and a half inches long. And I like that little extra. I also really enjoy having multiple opening options. What I had always wanted was a Civivi Elementum with a three and a half to four inch blade. Now they made one, but they made it button lock only, which is the only way you can open it is like that. And the only way you can close it is like that. Uh, you see how your your hand has got to be shaped kind of odd to do that? You know, with a flipper, look how your hand is sitting. Bam. I mean, yeah, you still got to reposition it and everything, but it just seems like a little bit more of a natural thing than to have to find a button and flip it out. And this one has three opening methods, the button lock, the flipper and the thumb studs. Now it has thumb studs on the other side. Uh, I try, but I can't spidey flick that thing. I mean, see, I got to position my hand weird. I just can't. I just don't want to go I'm digging the hell out of my th finger on it. Um, now. The Recon 1 has a 4 inch blade. If you look at the size though, I mean you can see as as you're progressing up in in blade size, it's getting bigger. And I mean of course we can go with the really, you know, the really large ones. Uh, the bigger the blade, the bigger the handle usually. And a lot of times I don't need to carry this um, I like it. I like the way it looks. I like it that it's got the old school lock to it. This is a marbles. I like this fuller here. I just wish they would have done it on both sides and made it a real fuller, but I mean, it, it looks more like a fuller than a nail nick or anything like that. Um, it's a great knife to have, but I, I hardly ever carry it because uh, you got to have big pockets. And it's kind of heavy. Now this one, again, was one of the first ones I got when I started uh, getting into knives again. Because I like the, the shape, I like the steel, uh, it's got a strong lock on it and all that. Um, but it's bulky compared to this guy. And if it's bulky, if it, if it um, bothers you, sitting down or whatever a lot of times i fall asleep with my clothes on and stuff and if i roll over on my side uh i'm gonna notice this i can go to sleep with this in my pocket and not even notice it you know it's so flat and slim and slender now for the same thing you can carry a slip joint which is even smaller and will still get all your cutting needs done it's just um it's not a flipper, so it's kind of a different kind of mindset you've got there. You know, you're going to use two hands to open it rather than one. 
I like having the one-handed opening capabilities of a, of a flipper knife. And so that's why I usually, I don't try to make one knife do everything, you know. Um, I've got so many knives, really, it's just a matter of pockets and location, you know, uh, of where I could put knives on. i got so many options that I could choose from that uh, I don't have to be limited to just one knife trying to do everything. So, again, it depends on, on, your, on your size, your physical size, your hand size, and everything else. Uh, for some people, this might be small, but look, i got plenty of room. I like this uh, little ledge here that I can, you know, choke up on. Um, I really like the Elementum. Now, they've got a button lock Elementum. They call it the Elementum 2. It's just basically the same size as this but it's got a button lock instead of a flipper. Now, what's good about that is, as long as you keep your fingers out of the way, you're never in the path for closing it. With a liner lock, I mean, yeah, it's just a matter of technique. You do like, you push down like that, and that kick, or, you know, that little landing thing or whatever, it's not really a kick, uh, hits my thumbnail, and I know to move my thumb out of the way before I close it. I've never cut myself on an Elementum. Um, I've never cut myself with this one either. I mean, yeah, it's possible. I'm not, I don't want to jinx myself, you know. <laughs> Slice my hand open, proving that I can cut myself with it. Um, it depends on the situation. Sometimes I'll carry this one. But, I mean, this is really what started me buying knives and stuff again is because... I thought this was going to do everything I needed for a new knife, but uh, it, it's really not one of these, you know, fast flicking type of things. You have, to, I have to roll it out because it, it usually, uh, yeah. See, I just, I just can't get the momentum with it. My thumbs, if my thumb comes off, this is why I don't really like thumb studs a lot. If my thumb comes off, I wind up pushing on the blade which is you know your thumb saying hey are you trying to cut me uh, it's still a good knife there's nothing wrong with it it's just that for everyday carry the longest time this was it I'm starting to switch to this one because it's it's not that much bigger I mean it you know maybe an inch more in length But I just like the capability. The only uh, the only thing about this particular knife is uh, this is natural G10 or JD G10. Uh, I like micarta a little bit better just for the the feel and the texture and everything. Uh, this is super grippy and everything, so it was pretty aggressive on clothing. So I just basically sanded that down. So I won't tear up my clothes quite as much. Um, but yeah, I guess it's just an individual thing. What you like to carry and everything. But for me, I found that this is the easiest to carry all the time. Now, of course, that is switched because this is also easy to carry all the time. It's on my belt. So, and, it, and it's smaller too, you know. You only got... About a two and a half inch blade on that one but it's there I don't have to flip anything to get it to work as soon as I pull it out it's ready to cut my hands already positioned you know I don't have to change it a whole lot um, so really a fixed blade a lot of times for me I can get by with just carrying this Azula I usually don't like I said, mainly because, man, i got to give these knives rotation sometimes, you know. If I'm always carrying this, and I've got a bunch of different flippers, then what are they doing? They're just sitting there. They're not really getting used. So I have to force myself uh, to use knives. And occasionally I bring, I bring this one along just to remind me how it all got started, basically. How my, my knife channel got started. It was thanks to uh, Jolly Peanut. Because he was into lock sport also, and he, but he was into guns and knives and 
different stuff like that. And like I said, at the time I was getting burnt out on Lock Sport, uh, he reintroduced me basically to buying knives again because he was talking. I think he had a, a cold steel holdout, and it just got me to start looking at the cold steel knives again. I saw the Recon one, and it was a toss up between the clip point and the spear point. I like just the shape of the spear point, but I like a clip point too. So uh, either one would have worked out fine, but that's the one I wound up getting. And when I got them, this was around a hundred dollars. They've gone up quite a bit, but you still get them occasionally on sale for around that price. It's a damn good knife. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with it. Um, other than, like I said, the bulk. You know, it. It's a lot longer in the pocket. It's heavier. It's not bad, but I mean, it's it's approaching where I'm starting thinking a fixed blade. You know, I could easily carry a fixed blade rather than than that. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's just these are just my thoughts on that. Um, I just noticed that for everyday carry, you know, a three-inch blade really gets a lot. I mean, it. it does everything I need to do. I just like to have the a little extra reach there sometimes. And I've been thinking about getting this one in the the drop point version they've got. Just because I like you know the the button lock. I like the, the flipper and everything. Now again you've got to watch these because they're not all button locks. Some of them are, are liner locks. And if you wanted the advantage of a button lock, well, you've got to, you know, buy or beware. You really got to watch what you're, what you're buying. I mean, but like I said, you can get, I could bring out that huge, you know, folding knife that I almost never carry, the Teddy Roosevelt. It's got like seven inch blade. I mean, it sits out like this. Uh, it's a folding knife, but I almost never use it. It's more just for, for show. Uh, I think it weighs almost two pounds. I mean, it's pretty heavy, but you can go extremes. You know, you can get smaller. You can get smaller knives and bigger knives. It's all it depends on what you want, what you want to do with your knife. You know, for the longest time before flippers around, this was it. You know, just a small pocket knife. It fits in a pocket. You didn't need a clip or anything. We never. I never saw anybody use a slip when I was a kid, it's just basically, it was a pocket knife. It fell into your pocket and it was there for what, what you needed to do, which was cut string, you know, whatever you needed to do. So, yeah, there you go. Just, just my thoughts, a little ramble there on the, the perfect size EDC knife is what you happen to carry all the time. Because if you're out somewhere, and you don't have all of your collection with you, all you've got is what you got on you. And I can make do with, you know, like I said, small knives. Small knives a lot of times will get everything that I need to have done. It's a, it's a mindset that I try to overcome because I like big knives. Uh, I like big blades, I like big knives. I don't, I don't worry that much about the weight a lot of times if I'm carrying it, that's because I wanted the extra reach or for whatever reason, you know, you got a big steak and you want to cut it with one slice. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Just thought I'd give you my little thoughts on the perfect size EDC. And uh, one day I'll probably get an Elementum too, just because I like these, I like this knife so much. And with, uh, and with the flipper capability, there's like two two different kind of detents. There's this you still have the same ball, but it takes quite a bit of engineering. You can't really see it with this one. You'd have to take it apart to see it. But there's another it's pretty ingenious how they do it. There's another notch back here that has to be a little bit less tapered. And a little bit less engaged. Oh, let's see if we can see it in there. So it'll overcome the the tension when you 
when you flip this. Now, the uh, I haven't got a button lock, you know, large elementum, but the way they did that one is just like this one, I think, on both ends. Uh, that thing's not going to flip. You know, when it's in there, you can't flip that. You have to clear it for it to open and close. And I, you know, it seems like since this is Civivi, it seems like since they made this one capable of opening and closing, they could have done the button lock elementum. I know I could keep complaining about that, but I really wanted, I liked everything about the elementum except that it was just a little bit smaller. If it was just a little bit longer, three and a half inches, four inches, it'd be perfect for me. But anyways, I guess, you know, one of these days maybe they'll do that, but uh, I don't know. I, I doubt it. They've had years. They've had years to, to do that, and they haven't. So I guess they're just stuck on, well, we gave you the button lock elementum. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I don't want this to be the only way I can open and close a knife. You know, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's okay, you know, but I mean, eh. I just don't like it. I'd rather have, this is the way I usually open the knife most time, with the flipper. Sometimes I'll use a thumb stud, but I really don't like thumb studs, like I said. I, my thumb will come off of it a lot of times. This has got a wide enough blade here that I could still, you know, push it with my thumb, but I just, I just don't like coming close. You feel it, you know. When your thumb touches the edge of a knife, and you're like, wow, man, I almost cut myself opening a knife. Anyways, there you go. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.